Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Grime. So, uh, a few things. As you can see, we are um, actually all the way back in the Unformed Desert, because this is where I've been doing a little bit of farming. Actually, not a whole lot. Uh, I mean, you can see that, I've ha that I'm have that i up to 1,700 mass, uh, which did not take very long to to get at all. I was... I, I only teleported here to this nerf pass, because um, I figured, you know, by the other one down in uh, the Feaster's Lair, there isn't actually... There aren't actually a, a lot of enemies. I guess they probably individually give more uh, experience or mass than the ones in this earlier area, but there are just a lot more enemies here, and you can just, you know, basically run along and kill, like, half a dozen of them or more uh, without much effort or risk of death. And uh, they actually do give decent amounts. It, it, does, add up, it does add up nicely. Uh, I haven't actually looked it up, but I also remembered that there is indeed... A way to look up abilities. Ardor... Oh, it doesn't actually say. I thought maybe it would give you a, a, a description of what Ardor actually is. Hmm. I know, I feel like there, there is... There was, but I mean, there, I guess there is not. Because I... Where, where would it be, right? Where would it be hiding? No, I guess not. Um, yeah, but I'm pretty sure Ardor... Without any upgrades, really just increases your your mass gain. I think so. I think that's what it does. Anyway, um, you know, either way, uh, I it did not take long to farm, and I could, and I will probably go back and farm even more just in case there are more than two upgrades I can do. Uh, the reason, one of the reasons I stopped here, is because um, well, I made it here, and uh, you know got to this place, and yes, it turns out that that's, that's actually something to interact with using the pull ability. Oh, also interesting that that actually does not retract. Oh, yeah, so anyway, that allows me to grab this item. Uh, thirsting sand, okay, so nothing new, but there is also this platform we can reach, and we can actually keep climbing up. And as soon as I discovered that, I obviously stopped because I wanted to do that on camera. Um, there were also more things. Right, I also actually finally took the time not only to do this little bit of farming here, farming and scouting, um, but also I um, also I uh, rewatched my two last episodes, two um, most recent episodes, and uh, identified a few things. Well, we still don't have a map for the feast is there, of course, so I can't really point out those places, but I hope I'll remember. Maybe uh, it helps if I remind myself. So from this safe point here, um, going to the right and up, or actually just the right and up a little bit or something like that, there was a path to the right that I took once and died and never returned. Uh, it might not lead to much, but I definitely never fully explored that. Um, every time after that, I just kept going further up and to the left. Uh, basically, you know, my, my mental map had kind of marked that one passage as explored, I suppose, and I never considered it one of those pathways I needed to get back to, but yeah, I definitely never fully explored that. Um, so that's something. And then uh, past the, um, the mini-moss, the, the jaw crab or whatever, um, I climbed up the ladder and uh, there were like two paths that I never explored because I dropped down through a platform which didn't allow me to go back up and then, yeah, the rest is history. That's um, And then down the other path, that's where I met Owl. Um, and I've been wondering if I find a place where it's really convenient to farm, you know, uh, without having to put much thought into it, I might just uh, go ahead and maybe farm enough for to buy both of those um, hunt points just to get them out of the way. And I'm sure the further I progress in the game, there the more uh, the easier it will be to farm larger amounts of mass. I mean, that seems like like a given. Uh, so obviously, it would be much easier or much faster to do that later in the game, but I could also do that, uh, you know, get that out of the way now and have those two extra hunt points. Um, actually, before I climb up here to whatever might be up there, I did one more thing. I reset another skill. Um, bit of a tough decision, but uh, I, what I actually did was I read through all of the uh, all of the, the available traits again to see if something, some build made more sense than what I was uh, using, and I actually removed my one point of uh, force increase uh, with a bit of a heavy heart, because obviously that's something I would eventually like to get back, 
Um, but I figured a 10% increase is only a 10% in increase, right? We're now down to 85 from 92. Not a huge deal, especially with our recent increase. Um, but uh, I invested that instead in the Ancient Limb, uh, a skill that I, you know, obviously got very early in the game and kind of dismissed as not being very useful. But uh, I've since been thinking, I mean, repelling an attack, that's just uh, uh, damages the attacker. So, and, uh, and it also scales with resonance, which is obviously kind of my build. Not that I've been very heavily investing in it. Um, but yeah, what I mean, basically what this means, just getting the, one, the first tier of this trait, uh, means that uh, blocking or parrying, you know, absorbing any kind of attack, no matter whether the enemy is absorbable or not, will always deal damage, and that's obviously huge. I mean, previously, I was just not able to, to block most attacks from, or you know, have at least half of the attacks from, from stronger enemies, just because they had large parts of their health bar protected from absorption, but now that should no longer be a problem. And yeah, it also the damage apparently also scales to some extent with uh, resonance. So I figured that was kind of kind of a natural uh, for me to get. Uh, so we'll see how much of a difference that makes. And yeah, that's I mean that's that's basically it. That's all the changes I made. In the longer term, I would like to get some more resonance. Uh, resonance? What, what, am I, what am I saying? Some more uh, regeneration. I guess I read that word in. Yeah, whatever. Uh, force regen. Um, at least one more tier for three points. I feel like that's still justified. And, you know, I, I would like even more than I have. Um, also, one or two points into max force increase for the same reason. Um, I would like at least one point in here, possibly two. That might actually be the next thing I get, just because I want to see how much it actually heals in practice, you know. Um, still interested in getting this. Obviously interested in getting more of this, even though I'm not sure how much of a how much use I get out of this in the long run. It's also going to be hard to actually notice when the bonus comes into play, right? I doubt it's going to be displayed in any kind of special way, but... Yeah, anyway, um, I think that's mostly it. With most of the things I'm, I want to get. It's, I mean, it's ob obviously already enough. If I can buy those two those two uh, buyable points, that would, of course, allow me to, well, get back my little bit of uh, force bonus and unlock this, for example. Or just straight up get, get this and have it out of the way. One of those two things. Either would be nice. So yeah, that's the other thing. Oh, and one final thing: I never actually made use of these of the uh, uh, cosmetic, uh, you know, option, cosmetic armor option. And uh, I kind of like the look of this, this I don't know, kilt-like, skirt-like. I don't I don't know what what that specifically reminds me of. Uh, kind of Egyptian style, perhaps, <laughs> uh, leg wear. So let's see if that clashes with my armor set. Hmm. It doesn't... the colors don't match particularly well, but I kind of like it. Doesn't... It, it makes me look less naked. I still have the pretty cool looking uh, torso armor, so, you know, that's actually kind of, kind of a decent style. If I do say so myself. Anyway, let's uh, finally start exploring and see what's up here. Oh, this guy, ouch. Oh. Get out of here. More nails, all right. Oh, mini boss. Something all right. Hmm, sure, why not? Oh. Oh. Desert Watcher. What is it? Another foolish pebble. Your kind should know to stay. Ah, that form. Who dared sculpt a pebble under the broken sky? But no, not a pebble. That material, that head. Yeah, the head is kind of special, isn't it? The spiral heart, at long last. 
The coda foretold your coming, and with great joy. <clears throat> Yet, I knew we should rather fear it. Um. Uh, uh, what? Okay. Well, that was quick. <clears throat> okay, I, I don't know. Of all the things I expected we might find. Not that I spent a lot of time thinking about what we might find. Um, that minibus wasn't one of them. Uh, I was I, I was thinking you know of just quickly climbing up, picking up whatever items there might be, and then uh, checking out this next, and that would be that. But I guess I found myself something else to bash my head against. Uh, that said, I want to quickly head over. to that other spot I just indicated, which is down here, yeah. Let's see if that's something I can actually do, and it looks like it is. Ah, oh, yes, okay. Figured it wasn't gonna be much. I'm mostly hard, that's nice. I, I'm mostly pearl, not hard. Which is nice, because I just recently used up two of them. Can I pull this back down? So I don't know. Interesting that those blocks just stay in place. Yeah, so these statues don't give a whole lot of mass. Also, the game is extremely choppy in this area, even though it displays 60 FPS, but I don't know, it does not feel very smooth at all. Weird. Right, okay, so that's also done. There is oops, clearly stuff above. Yeah, that hand is definitely a platform up there. Seems very high. I mean, obviously not even reachable with a double jump. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe the path... Yeah, actually, maybe the path continues past the Watcher. Now I wonder if I hadn't talked to him um, and initiated that fight, if I could have just moved past him. I mean, probably. Unless he would have... Oops. Unless he would have woken up no matter what. Let's see. The first attempt obviously did not go very well. Uh, what am I doing? Come on, man. There's no reason to lose any health on the way to that, to that fight. Is he going to start hostile now? Yeah, for sure. <sighs> I'm not at full health. Oh? Oh, that's... okay. The black one... black projectile definitely was not parryable. Okay. I guess that... I could have pulled him there, briefly. But yeah, man, those windows, <laughs> the, the the tougher the enemy, the, the tinier those... those windows are for, for getting the pulls off. And all other kinds of timings, of course, are also get tighter. Not too surprising, but kind of unfortunate. There, just played a little bit safer. So at least we start with full health here, for what it's worth. Okay, so the black thing cannot be thrown back. The white thing can, kind of, as expected. Can I just leave? No. <laughs> of course not. Ugh. Yeah. Nice. Nope. Ugh. Oh, he damaged me, actually. Ugh. Thought I'd dodged or moved far enough away, but nope. I was kind of looking for an opportunity to, to parry him. To you know, absorb him. It seems like a pretty tough fight, needless to say. Maybe I might be better off, at the very least, upgrading my weapon. You know, it's uh, kind of what I set out to do in, in the first place. I guess I'll just quickly grab my... Oh, I can't, because I died over there. Well, okay, I guess that means I'll do one more attempt. Nope, okay. Right, the follow-up... Uh,
Nope. What am I doing? Oh, such a super slow... Such a super slow attack. Slow. Oh, I don't see him. What's he doing? That thing. Ooh. Okay. Nope. Did not dodge that one. Nope. Need to wait for focus. Nope. Oh, the third one in the series is not blockable, huh? Of course. What am I doing? Oh, I somehow dodged this attack. Or did I? Maybe I took some extra damage. <laughs> ah, too slow. Yeah, he has a ton of health. Deals a lot of damage. I'm... I don't know. I Obviously, I'm... Kind of getting better at reading his attacks very slowly. I feel like yeah, with without better stats, this is just gonna be a pretty long, long fight, and obviously gonna take quite a few more attempts before I finally get it. I mean, I obviously could technically get it, no doubt about that. The question is whether I'm. Oh no. Okay. You know what? Screw my otter. What? Whatever, it's not much anyway. Oh, that's a bit of a fall. Not too bad. Is there anything else here? Um, I mean, I kind of wanted to farm a bit more, as I said. Oh, I have to make my way back to the... Uh, to the nerf pass anyway. So I'll just use that opportunity. Oh, okay, then don't attack me. That's fine too. Yeah, so it must be that Ardor increases um, your experience gain. Because right now, enemies aren't giving a whole lot. The game is still super choppy. Is my PC busy with something? Actually, it is. Wait. Well, it's just a game, I guess. Oh. Huh. Looking at my uh, CPU load and, and temp in real time here, and it's pretty high up for running such a relatively undemanding game. Or at least you'd, you'd think it would be relatively undemanding. Well, that's kind of mean. And you can see how the experience actually wrecks up pretty quickly. Okay. Wow, I... <laughs> keep getting... Uh surprised by their attack range. Alright. Nope. Don't do it. Stop sneaking up on me. Alright, this is where this was. Obviously not going in a very straight line toward the toward that uh, nerf pass. Oh! That was... that was unfortunate. <laughs> Spider, come back. 
There you go. Alright. Too bad. Those don't give me any any breath. So I'm so close to being able to heal. Oh. All oh, right. Yes. Somehow this barrier blocking this uh, narrow passage you, to dash through respawns when you uh, when you die or when you respawn the world. Not sure what's up with that. Hey, can you try attacking? <laughs> yes. Thanks for for attacking. <sighs> I haven't fought these guys in a while, okay? <laughs> Give me a break. <sighs> right. Let's actually take this shortcut down. I was going to say the spider on the right isn't even interested in me, but not true. Okay. Should have just ignored him and made my way to the nerve pass. Oh well. In fact, I was literally almost there. Okay. Uh, yes, we want to go to the world pillar and now finally do the upgrading. Finally, finally. I definitely have enough cash to do all the upgrading I possibly can with my current resources. So let's see how much that is. Hey, I'm back. Upgrade. Choose wisely, indeed. Uh, right, two shards, 740 mass. Yes, and the upgrade Okay, it's by three. Um, by three damage. Do I get? I guess I don't see if the the scaling goes up or damage from scaling. Guess not. Okay, one more level again. Two shards. Twelve hundred fifty mass. Okay, that was a much higher increase in cost than I expected. Good thing I farmed a bit more. Well, in that case. I probably can't get the next level. Oh, wait. Okay, it does take two chunks. For three more damage and a lot of mass. Holy crap. Yeah, that's not cheap. But of course, I'm missing the uh, blood metal chunk anyway, so it's not so bad. I mean, six more damage just on the base, base attack is pretty good. Should be noticeable. So, yeah, now we head back into the Feaster's Lair and check out some of those places that I talked about earlier. Right back here, <laughs> wherever here is in this formless darkness, that is our current map. Right, this up here is a bit of a mystery because, yeah, we just cannot grab that. It's so strange, it also seems so pointless. I mean, there's no... Weird. It's real strange. Oh, you... Right, you can't pull them out from underneath you. It just doesn't do anything. Okay, grab the ledge! I know, why... Why it's impossible to, to grab the ledge? Oh, never mind. It's not impossible. There is nothing here. It's just pointless. Huh. Okay. Strange. Well then, since we're already on this side, so I'm going to go up here and check out these couple of places that I did not check out the first time around. Right up there is something that we might be able to reach. If 
by just climbing up here, which I never did. Oh, there's stuff above, of course. But that might just be a way to drop back down. Oh. <laughs> or not. Yeah, that seems like a trap if I ever saw one. I mean, that's just going to kill me. There is no way, and I, I cannot possibly climb up quickly enough. I really don't see how... Oh. Never mind. They... They're just there to scare me? Or is it just that that you need to actually touch them? I guess that's it, huh? That's that's it with the uh, the smaller teeth, anyway. If you just jump through, they... <laughs> they wriggle like crazy, but... They don't actually bite you. Okay. Hmm. All right, that gives me a safe platform. There's another uh, chunk. Is it a chunk? I think so. Actually, it might only be a shard. Oh, wait, this is here. And by here, I mean a place that I have been to that I didn't expect to connect to that other place. Nope. Cannot actually attack those flies. Should have known that. Definitely been here. Yeah, okay. Huh. That's kind of wild. Yeah, this is that place where you block the, the jaws from crunching. That whole passage up there, I'm trying to look at. Um, how could that be reached? It looks like, that up there looks like a way back down from above. All oh, right, it's my dog. Go to the left and and then up and wrap around to the right. But it doesn't seem like there's a way for me to get through there. And this is. I just climbed up. Right, okay. Yep. I remember actually seeing this uh, and contemplating climbing downward. Or just jumping. I just never did. Now I know what's below. Oh. Uh, okay. Need to kind of time those things. Um, yeah, time those a little bit better, actually. Okay. Now wait one more cycle. And while that's still going... Oh, while that's still going... Well, that didn't work out so well, did it? Just ignore all the damage, whatever. It's not instant death. No problem. Okay. Perfectly safe, no problem. Turn on a tooth, of course. A shard, not a chunk. Yeah, the chunks are noticeably larger. Hi there. Hunt point. On two legs. Okay. Kind of want to absorb you. Of course it has to be an absorbable attack like that. Nice. Actually, I should be able to absorb... No. Well, at least deal some damage by absorbing or blocking a non-absorbable attack. That's neat. Not as much damage as actually absorbing. Oh, okay, he wasn't quite over the threshold yet. Nice. Very good. And that brings me... here. Oh yeah, okay. This is actually another place I could have gone. Yeah, the other place I could have gone. Right, right, here. right past this place where I climbed up. Just moments ago. Yeah, and then I originally dropped down here. But that also means that I never went here. Okay, that's another one of those situations. Another type of tooth. Well, thanks, I guess. Right, so I could have just climbed up here, reached that enemy directly. But there was a one-way barrier here, wasn't there? So I could have actually progressed this way. Alright. That's cool. 
one more hunt point. And also all, uh, already back up to 2100 uh, mass, which is neat. I don't think there was a, an alternate way past here. Ugh, okay. Snipe perfectly. What was passed here? The way down to Owl, oh, yeah. And to ultimately to the Um the nerve root, nerve pass. No! What am I doing? What? I was standing there expecting to have enough uh art and uh, ardor. I wanna say ardor when I mean breath recently. Not sure when that happened. Um, yeah, expecting to have. No, wait. <laughs> and I actually meant neither of those things. Um, expecting to have enough force, aka stamina. That's what I wanted to say, but I did not actually have enough. And this is actually a dead end, right? Okay. But I'm pretty sure that I have now explored all that I can up there, in the upper regions. Bye all. Bye all. Not rich enough, sorry. So nerf pass. And now I'll make my way back to the safe point, hopefully. It should just be through here. Oh, except I can't. Well, I don't think I was supposed to be able to do that, but I'll take it. It's not like I gained any kind of unfair advantage or anything. Oh, uh, okay. Sure. Alright. Save here. Don't spend anything. So we need to we need to save. That being said, um don't spend any mass of course but i could spend one point on this yeah and then when i if and when i get to actually buy those those two points from owl which you know i might with uh, depending on how much mass i gain from the boss from the feaster which might be a good amount probably not enough for both but maybe enough for one of course one point wouldn't do much for me so saving one now and buying one, I could just I could buy this first. I don't know. Of course, I might be doing quite a few absorptions during the boss fight, so this would be more immediately useful if I actually spent this point right now and get some benefit out of it. What the heck? I'll just get it. Okay. And now, let's see... Oh, actually, I think this is exactly where I wanted to go. This is where I encountered the first specimen of that um, hunt enemy that I killed recently. Maybe? Or was that further up? Wait, did I actually explore this? Is this a different place? Am I, am I stupid? Did I actually go here? <laughs> I mean, yes, I did go up there. Perfect timing, great. Um, maybe this is not the place I was thinking of. I hope it's not, because I thought there was something else to explore. Ah, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not supposed to do that. You're supposed to return that way. From up there. But, I mean, I've done it before. I know it's possible. Oh, come on, game. Don't deny me this. No, oh, okay. I, I don't know. It's uh, I try to move just the tiniest little amount, but 
That didn't really work. As you saw. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's not generally possible and I just got lucky that one time? I thought I got lucky with just finding that, you know, that one bit of level geometry in that one, in that particular location where it didn't line up the way it was intended. But maybe I, I was lucky in a different way. And, I don't know, just in that one particular instance of the game, the geometry was kind of, kind of off for some reason. I don't know how that could be, or if that's actually a thing that could theoretically happen, but... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just extremely finicky to get on that one particular little pixel or bit of the... of the geometry that you can actually stand on. Yeah, now I'm not so sure if I... if there is actually something... Oh, I... why, why did I stop there? I don't know. No, I'm not so sure if there's actually something I can still explore here. I'll take one more look. Maybe the place I was thinking of was actually further up here. Maybe it's actually past here. No, that's still that thing. Yeah, okay, never mind then. Maybe it was past, uh, past that set of teeth. Yeah, okay. Definitely can't make it through there safely. I wanted to fall. I didn't mean to double back into the into the teeth, but oh well. Right, and that would just send me down there. Still can't make it up there. It's below here. Only death, but you know. Sometimes death isn't so bad. Ouch. That was kind of bad. I don't know if I've ever been hit by these things. They are slow enough, but for some reason, suddenly... Oh. I'm, I'm super scared now. Okay. Honestly, that should not have worked, but uh, thanks to my... Absorb improving trait. Not actually die. I was also not. I've not been paying attention at all to how much I've been healing or absorptions ever since getting that trait, speaking of which. I mean, I know it's not a lot. 4%. But, you know, it's 4%. Better than zero, for sure. Um, I can't go up there. Okay, at this point I really... I don't know if there really are any places I can still explore. Basically just running around farming at this point. Which I should do off-camera. Come on. Or not. <laughs> Fine by me. I mean, not really. I would like to... Would like to defeat him. Oh, he retreated. See, how is he not damageable? Come on. There we go. Splinter. Nice. Oh, interesting. Kind of activated two of those guys there. Pretty sure that uh, there was only one visible before. Uh, let's see here. Oops. Let's see here. That button. That's the button. Um, I never actually used one of these ribs. Oops. Let's see... Oh, you threw them. Still in a straight line. Okay, and that unfortunately just hits the uh, the other ledge there. I'm gonna try a, an absolute max maximum distance dash. 
Yeah, definitely not far enough. Okay. Never mind. But I don't think I can fit up in there. And this is the way to the boss. Presumably. I mean, it pretty much has to be because I'm pretty sure that's actually the only way I can go at this point. Unless there really was something past that. Ah, damn, I, I kind of want to go up and try a few more times to get past that, past those teeth where I kind of cheated my way past. At least twice, right? I, I've done it more than once too. Just kind of wild how it didn't seem, it seemed completely impossible now. But I just want to take a look past that place and, and see what actually was there. I kind of landed on the ledge. Well, certainly not there. Not that time. Hmm. Oh, ah, crap, I had it. I didn't think I had it. It didn't look like I had it. So it's just a matter of getting lucky to land on the just the right set of pixels. See, I mean, it didn't look like I was any further to the right that time, or that time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I'm so afraid now that I'm... <sighs> I hesitate to, to move at all, <laughs> and I still die sometimes, or eventually. Okay, you know what? I'm going to pause recording and... Just keep trying until I make it, because it's obviously still possible. It's just very random, and I got super lucky the first few times. Um, and I'm just going to take a look past that place. I suppose I can just take a look in general, and if it turns out that there is nothing that I didn't explore, uh, that place that I thought I had seen at some point is not actually past there, but somewhere else entirely or something, I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Um... If it turns out that there is nothing, I'm just going to resume from here and we're going to take a look at the boss, although the episode is already longer than I expected, actually, as those things typically go, but I at least want to take a, a sneak peek. But if there is something up there, then of course I guess we're going to just deal with, with whatever there is to deal with. Long story short, I'm just going to pause and I'll see you in a second. Okay, here we are. And I actually did not die. I did, well, not on the first attempt exactly. I jumped quite a few times, not actually landing on the ledge, but just sliding off ever so slightly, and then I eventually made it on the, onto the ledge and just jumped through, you know. No big deal. Uh, yeah, but now I'm here. It's actually curious, because, I mean, it's it's pretty obvious. It's been obvious before, but even more obvious now that I've, uh, you know, seen, this, seen it fail a few times, that you're absolutely not supposed to be coming from the other side. Which raises the question, what is the intentional way to get here in the first place? I know I climbed up here, and this is actually the, play, the, the path that I ended up taking at least, um, I don't know, um, ultimately taking and, and, and exploring and pursuing, but uh, over here is where I only went once, as indicated by this item that's just here, okay, just, just a rib, right, okay, also that was not the right way to react to that projectile there. Actually, a bunch of items here. Ah, yeah, there's that enemy, exactly. A non-miniboss version of that enemy. That I haven't otherwise seen elsewhere. Nope, that's not absorbable. Come on, buddy. I would like to absorb your attack. I don't want to kill you. Okay. You know what? I think I need to deal with this guy. Alright. 
There we go. Oh, had I? Wait, what? Those don't count as a separate enemy, I guess? It's just a smaller version of um, uh, these guys. These guys? Yes, Tongue Bird. Oh, okay. So I guess they're not worth an, a, known, um, a separate entry. Makes sense, I guess. Okay. Huh. And it turns out that I can't actually do anything here because I can't jump high enough. So either double jump or higher jump seems to require to uh, make it up there. Unless it's platforming. Oh, actually, wait a second. Have I never been up there? Oh, you know what? Maybe I only ever made it here once. Period. Because I ended up... Um, yeah, I saw this this setup here. And I mean, this clearly is... Uh... Oh, you know what? Never mind. This is not... The the, the, the path down downstairs here. This passage downstairs is not actually... Something you're supposed to come back from. Come from this direction. But... Uh... As I might have determined before, actually what a path that you're supposed to take with the uh, air dash. Which would also help you get through that um, setup above. Okay, never mind then. Nothing to do there for now. Unless I was willing to throw myself into that double set of teeth a few times. Until I can maybe land on a ledge there that might or might not exist. Mm. Well, I said I wanted to take a sneak peek at the boss, huh? Why don't I go ahead and actually do that? Um, I believe... Yeah, okay. This is actually... We unlocked that shortcut, so we can actually do this now. <sighs> okay. Hi there. Oh, you're eating the beacon? Is that right? I'm wearing your armor set, by the way. Oh, Vulture, you're not the Feaster at all. Maybe we're not fighting the Feaster? Oh, oh, okay. That would have been easy to pull. I think I would have needed to jump, though. Okay, the nose is uh, a weak point. No, oh, I failed to uh, react to that. Or that. Oh, okay, Shockwave. Very delayed. What's he doing? Oh, spitting a lot of acid. Okay, okay. We turn to heal. It's also raining rocks, which I can throw. Delayed shockwave? No. Oh, no reaction time. <laughs> oh, pull that out of the ground? What? What is that? Oh, I was supposed to pull that out of the ground as protection from the poison spray. I think. Okay, dash through that, not too hard. Doesn't seem to have a ton of uh, abilities. Oh. ton of abilities that can be uh, absorbed, like parried. Ah, no. Just a delete shockwave again. It's a very slow boss, very <laughs> relatively easy uh, tells, and I can probably actually absorb those those attacks, <laughs> exactly that which just killed me. Should give that a try. That should be a, a nice chunk of damage. Yeah, it definitely feels like, uh, compared to those optional mini-bosses, Tougher enemies that I've been fighting recently. This guy is not all that hard. What? I tried to pull. Don't know if I successfully did so. Oh. Well, I did not try to pull there. Oops. Or try to... Too late, or... Okay, I think I'm hiding behind this. 
Maybe? Yeah, I didn't take any damage. It looked like uh, that spray went right through, but... Oh, okay. Didn't expect this attack. Oh, ouch. Pretty generous pickup range on those. Mm. Oh. Nope. Maybe not absolvable? I don't know. Uh oh. Way too slow there. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's not glowing red when he does that, which indicates that it should be absorbable. Also, now that I'm actually. <laughs> I don't know. Trying to react properly to some. <laughs> to more attacks than I did before. I end up taking more damage. Pretty typical. It's fine, though. Um, or is it? <laughs> yeah, it is. That's how those things go. Okay, this looks very unsafe, but thankfully it's uh, it's actually kind of safe. 99 damage, though. It's a lot of damage. He has a lot of health, I guess. Oh. Should have absorbed that. Oh, okay, that can be absorbed for a good amount of damage. Didn't see exactly how much. Oh. Okay. I'm... Problem is, the main problem is that I'm not sure quite yet. Not quite, uh, not very well able to tell. Is it, what a weird way to word that. I have a hard time telling whether he's just moving or whether he's doing an attack, basically. Because all of his movements are so... I don't know. <laughs> Slow and with a lot of build-up. And some of his animations just look very similar to me. Okay, that... I guess I wasn't in range there. For the... Uh, absorb. But I also didn't take damage from the attack, so I guess... I was fine. What's he doing? Okay. Poison spray, or acid rain, or whatever. Acid rain, I guess, more like. Yeah, okay. Jump over that. Oh, he's gonna do some attacks. Was not in range, apparently. Ah, pulled too late. Mm. Across that. Do more acid rain. Oh, what? Oh, I was trying to absorb again there, but I guess there's a certain delay between uh, between absorbs. Eh, I, one of these days, I one of these days I would like to actually. Oops. Can't dash through. Spicy. Uh, I would like to uh, pull him when he uh, rears back like that. Problem is that I, uh, yeah, have, a, have trouble reading his tells and interpreting them properly. Okay. Yeah. D don't even get that one. I don't know. Honestly, it's it's kind of embarrassing not being able to tell when he's doing uh, that attack specifically because he just he raises his wing. It's actually extremely obvious that he's going to do exactly that attack. Right, give me some rocks. Nope. All right. What's he going to do? One. Past. How much does a rip do? Good damage, actually. Wow. Oh, God. No, what am I doing? 
I was just looking. I was only looking at him and how, at how much damage that first rip dealt, or that rip that actually hit his butt rather than his uh, his beak. <sighs> so stupid. I could have actually defeated him there, but of course, taking damage so early and being left with no heal um, for mo more than half of the fight was not ideal. Should have been a lot more cautious earlier. Too far away, too close, and too slow, and everything. Okay. We are back, perhaps? Nope. Oh, I have to heal again. Super early in the in the fight. Doesn't feel great. What? Oh, okay. That actually worked. So you don't have to jump. Nope, that didn't connect. Oh, interesting. Uh, yep, that was not Acid. And now we got rocks raining down. Or do we? <laughs> not very many. Nope, uh, well... Actually, it, I guess it did, because there was no shockwave. Huh. Not that. Oh, don't climb on it. Okay. What now? Yes. And rocks. I never expected to work. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not actually dead. Stamina. I would like to absorb one of these. Okay. New prey found. Only one was enough, thankfully. I wonder if that's a missable enemy entry. Also, is he actually damageable? Oh, I guess not. Oh, you know what? It's not missable. So, because you have to actually uh, damage him by absorbing these. Oh, God. Uh, oh, stamina. Stamina. Yeah, you damage him by killing the little things. <sighs> of course, there's an incentive to absorb them. What was that? I didn't expect that. Okay, interesting. Yeah, explains why the first phase seems seems so easy, because it's only the first phase. Okay. Um, and yeah, I, I noticed that he himself was no longer damageable as soon as his, his skull was gone. But, um, yeah, clearly killing his little spawn damages him, or depletes the health bar, so that's the way to go, and I got pretty far, honestly, so clearly now the, the goal must be to not take any damage on the first phase. Also, I was, you know, I was being so, so hopeful, almost ready to celebrate when I uh, defeated his first form, thinking that I just made it under an hour. Now, however... I feel like I kind of have to keep going, huh? I mean, it, it would be... Kind of a bad idea to stop now and have to relearn everything... Uh, ...next time. I mean, I could record another episode immediately, but then I don't know how, how much longer I want to go after that. And only the boss fight might make for a very short episode. Ah, oh, tough choice. I think I want to keep going. You know. If I don't defeat him in another attempt or two, I guess I'm gonna actually stop. Maybe edit the whole thing. That's always an option, I suppose.
Oops, don't get hit by this. I don't know if I've actually ever been hit by that attack, but it seems like it would deal a ton of damage, so probably best to avoid it. That's going to be acid. And definitely getting better at reading his tells, <laughs> that's for sure. Yep, nope. Nope. Uh. Nope, pull. Uh, trying to pull, but I, I guess. Ouch. You can't pull after. immediately after dashing or something? So it uh, didn't seem to. to do anything. When I flicked the, the stick there. Oh, crap, I was not ready for this. Gotta heal. It's unfortunate. What can you do? No, I, again, I dashed in. All right, this is not. This is not the attempt. Not the attempt. That's unfortunate. This first phase should not be hard. Just running away is not enough when you're that close. I guess it's the problem is more. It's less than running away is always <laughs> too slow, and more judging the the distance correctly. I was just a little bit too close there. I guess the um, the answer would have been to just uh, to dash away to the right first, and then wait for the attack to start, and then dashing through once he's closer to the ground. Extremely close, a lot closer than it maybe seems. If you want to uh, absorb his attacks, is he gonna rear back? Nope, it's gonna do acid immediately. Okay, three convenient rocks, which I messed up getting the third one. It's fine though. Are we gonna spit acid? Nope, actually, do that. Yeah, spit acid now. Okay. Nope, okay. Didn't think he was gonna do that. It's almost, almost done. Almost ran into that rock. Shockwave is coming right now. Oh, okay, there we go. Shockwave. Absorb. Nice. Doing now. Spawning more. All right. It's a, a different kind, actually. I'm gonna heal. Oh, okay, he's spawning more. And it's the uh, the bigger armored kind again. So, that's it, rain. Stamina. Oh, wait, he's dead? He's kind of dead. Oh, don't die to this now. I mean, his health bar is empty, but I guess I have to actually defeat the thing. Don't be dumb. Shockwave. Oh, two shockwaves! 
kill it. <laughs> He's dead? Oh, okay, I almost panicked toward the end there. Not gonna lie. Great prey crushed. Holy crap. Whew. Okay, please, air dash. Please, please, please. Come on. Or something else useful. I mean, I'm gonna take anything, but it would make, would make way too much sense. Kill Yao Stone. Air dash. <laughs> there it is. It's even called exactly that. I mean, what else would you call it? Allows you to dash in air. Mastery over the form of the vessel. Uh, what, what was he, the achievement there called? I don't know. Oh, this is so nice. You don't even have to really line up with the opening. It seems like, okay, this is kind of awkward. Yeah, you kind of just dash through the wall, so long as there is a small opening. That's convenient. Okay, where's the... Oh, and the biggest reward of all. I mean, the air dash is nice, you know, getting to all those places, but the real reward here. Finally, we have a map. Look at this place. Okay. Yep. I foresee a lot of backtracking in our immediate, fu immediate future. <clears throat> Let's see. I mean, there are some obvious places where I can go. Oh God, where are all where are all these places that I that I've only seen, that I've only blindly felt my way through that I'm now able to finally see? What are these? What is this place with with all the spikes on the ground? I don't remember that one. Um, huh. Yeah, it's sometimes it's. I mean, not not just sometimes. It's always kind of hard to connect the uh, the shapes of the rooms with what they actually look like in the game. Not really sure why that is, why that seems to be harder in this game than some others with a very similar map. Um, well, Ori and the Blind Forest slash uh, Will of the Wisp come to mind. I guess those are more more faithful representations, or in that, those games, uh, the, the map is a more faithful representation of what the game world actually looks like, whereas this is more of an abstraction that doesn't, you know, where, where not all the, the room shapes correspond 100% to what they look like in the game. Uh, are these remains supposed to still be here and moving so awkwardly or so so eerily, I guess? I wonder if that's just the the boss's model kind of stuck in the geometry there. If it's going to be still be there if I you know once I reload the game. I guess it's e easy enough to find out, but I'm not going to do that right now. Right now, I'm just going to make my way back to the save point. I actually have enough. Um, I think I gained like about 3,000 or so. Maybe le maybe more than that, actually. Was I at 6,000 or at 5,000 something um, before I fought the boss? So four or 5,000, uh, no, three or 4,000 uh, mass gained from the boss, I would say. That's nice. And uh, that is enough for one of those hunt points. Although, I've, of course, at this point, it's I'm just going to uh, continue farming until I have 14,000 to buy both. At once, assuming they don't get more expensive, that would be would be really mean. But I'm assuming it's a fixed price. Yeah, um, that's definitely something I'm I want to get out of the way. Although it's tempting to get a bunch of levels out of this, but I mean in reality it's probably only at most four levels, if that. So you know, not that big of a deal. Anyway, um, I'm really glad I I was able to actually beat the boss in a somewhat timely manner. That um, certainly makes me feel. Uh, better about myself, considering some of those some of these situations where I um, struggled quite a bit more recently. But yeah, that was nice. And yeah, as I said, a bunch of backtracking is waiting for us. And oh god, I wonder. The yeah, the, no, the the mid air dash would definitely allow me to explore places like this here. I don't remember what was here at all. No, actually, that was the. Um, this is where those moving shifting rock walls are in the way. No idea how to get past that, except from the other side. Yeah, this, this up here, I don't remember exactly what the setup looked like. Again, because the room doesn't necessarily look exactly like what we see here, but um, 
that might something I can I can get might be something I can get. In fact, most of the things I'm missing right now might be things I can get. I mean, I guess not this one here, where there seems to be an opening in the ceiling, and the only way I can see seems to be f jumping in from below. Obviously, that's not something I can do, because I can't dash in any other direction than horizontally. So a double jump might still be coming. There might also be some setups that I'm forgetting about, where a double jump or some sort of better jump would be the only thing that... Uh, that makes sense. Um, why actually? Why is our our quest complete? I thought we were sent to get the feaster, but I mean, obviously, the boss we defeated was not called the feaster. But I guess the vulture. A vulture is a creature that feasts on carcasses. Hmm. I was just totally expecting an enemy literally called the feaster. Obviously. Uh, but I guess uh, that just wasn't the case. And we did obviously fulfill our quest. So, all right. Um, yeah, anyway, enough talking. Um, <laughs> enough unwinding. Uh, next time, a lot of exploration and re-exploration. And I have no idea how I, I'm going to handle that, honestly. If I'm going to do a lot of exploration off camera, or if I'm just going to accept that it's going to be a lot of repetition... Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we will see. For now, I'm just really happy with what I achieved, and um, I thank you very much for watching, as always. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.